Okay, so the problem asks you to do the summation n equals 1 to 5 of 3 plus n squared. So I'm going to use my first property for sums, which is going to allow me to break that up. So that'll give me a summation n equals 1 to 5 of 3 plus a summation n equals 1 to 5 of n squared. Remember that for sums, just like any other things that we've been using with our limits, derivatives, and integrals, you can factor out constants. So that becomes 3 times the summation n equals 1 to 5 of 1 plus summation n equals 1 to 5 of n squared. Now we'll use these formulas that I've put over here for you. So the summation n equals 1 to 5 should be 5 times n. or 5 times 1, I should say. And then we've got a 3 there already, so that's there. Plus, the summation n equals 1 to 5 of n squared. So now that formula says that that should be equal to whatever this value is right here. So that's 5 times 5 plus 1 times 2 times 5 plus 1 all over 6. If you add those numbers up and combine them, then you should get the correct answer.